Welcome to a tutorial on how to work with scheduling in Dramatify. First, a heads up. For smaller or shorter productions like commercials, documentaries or even non-fiction shows, there is no need to use the scheduling feature. Instead, you can just add scenes and other information straight to your call sheet as you go along. We show you how in our tutorial on call sheets. To successfully work with scheduling, you need to have done at least a core breakdown of your script. That means that scenes have the correct stripboard colors in the scene list, because you have added sets, time of day and optionally also estimated segment and production time of scenes. Adding characters also makes scheduling easier. To start scheduling, you click on Planning. This is the overview page that soon will start filling up with your production days and teams. You can start in two ways. First, if you like to create a very rough plan of prep days, travel days and shooting days with or without dates, you can do that here on the overview page by going to the edit menu in the toolbar and clicking add a new production day. You add the production day number and, if you like, the date. You can also add dates later. Click to save. Now you get grid items for each team you added when you set up the production. Click on each team to assign what they should be doing that day, prepping, traveling or shooting. There are also the options of holiday and other if you need. Now, you haven't only started on a rough production plan, you have also added call sheets to each team. This means that you can not only have call sheets for teams on shooting days, but also on any other kind of day you need. This makes it possible for you to create a team that, for instance, only deal with set construction, that get their own call sheet of when and where they should be and what they should be doing. The call sheets for other tasks than shooting are simplified call sheets, and we tell you more about those in the tutorial for call sheets. To add a team or remove a team before starting planning and scheduling, you click on the production menu, then on admin and finally on the edit menu. Here you can add or remove a team by clicking on the team boxes. Click to save. To start scheduling, go back to planning. Now, if you like to set standard working hours to help you with planning the work days, click on settings in the toolbar. Add the standard working hours you want to keep and click save. Click on Scheduling in the toolbar to begin scheduling. Now, the first thing you might want to do is create more space by hiding the sidebar menu. Click on Hide menu in the upper right corner. Now, the left-hand column shows you all your scenes. It's completely linked with your script, so it's impossible to miss a scene. When this column is empty, you know that you have added all scenes and missed none. If a scene should be added after you have scheduled your shoot, it will show up here in the left-hand column. If a scene has this slightly striped slug background, it means that the scene isn't properly broken down with set and time of day. If it seems like you have added both set and time of day and the slug's background is still striped, that's because you have not indicated on the set if it's an interior or exterior set. Go to the set list, find the set and fix that. If you haven't already added shooting days like we talked about earlier, just click on add a production day. Here you add the number of the production day you want to add and which team you like to schedule for. In case of a production day with non-standard working hours, like a night shoot, you can add that as well or adjust the working hours later. Click to save. Now, should you by any chance have made a mistake, you can easily change day number or team by clicking edit on the production day, or delete it entirely by clicking on the trash can. Let's add the production day back again. To schedule, you just drag and drop scenes from the scene list in the left hand column onto the correct production day and team. Sometimes a scene is too long and you need to split it to allow for lunch and other breaks, spread the shooting out over several days or several teams. We increasingly see scenes that are created both by live action and special effects teams. In Dramatify you can split the same scene on two or more teams. Just click the edit menu in the scene and select split. You can now split the scene as well as add notes. 
So if the estimated segment time for the scene is 30 seconds, the combined estimated segment time for the split scenes should also be 30 seconds, that is 15 seconds each or however you want to split it. If you like to split the scene three or more times, you just repeat the split on one of the scene parts. If you make a mistake, you can easily unsplit the scene. The scene will then return to the scene list and you drag and drop it back to where you want the unsplit scene to appear. To move a scene from one production day or team to another, just simply drag and drop. To move a scene back to the scene list, click on the scene edit menu and select remove. Note that this does not mean that you delete the scene or remove it entirely from the scheduling. It only means that it's removed from the production day and back to the scene list. To aid your planning, you can add a flag to each production day column. It might be the main location, information that you have a helicopter for a certain day and team, or that an important cast member is available or unavailable that day. The flag carries over to the overview day schedule, the calendar, as well as call sheet titles. Flags can be edited and changed throughout the production process to suit your needs. Banners are any non-scene related activity during a shooting day, unit calls, prepping, breaks or travel time. You can add as many banners to a production day schedule as you like. In fact, you can make up an entire day out of banners if you like. You can schedule a max length of banner activity or leave it without any time. Just like scenes, banners can be dragged and dropped within a column but also between scheduling columns. If you have added production time to scenes in the breakdown, by using banners and scenes together, you can create a complete production schedule per day and team. At the bottom of each column, you'll get the daily estimates per team of how much finished material you will produce and the total working hours including breaks and other non-scene related activities. This makes it easy to adjust scheduling to avoid expensive overtime. Dramatify scheduling have two filters to make scheduling easier. First, you can filter on teams above the schedule and hide and show teams. Secondly, at the top of the scene list, you can filter on interior or exterior shoots, time of day, sets or characters, as well as season and episode if you use that. Just click clear to return to the non-filtered scene list. Click on reports to go to the cast day out of day report. Here we generate the shooting days per character you have added to the scheduling. If you want the day out of day report as a side by side planning aid, I suggest you open it in a new tab in your browser and then use the refresh option in the edit menu in the toolbar to update the report as you proceed with your scheduling. When you are ready to add shooting dates, you click on the calendar in the toolbar and start assigning dates to production days. As soon as a production day is in the calendar, you can easily move it around by using drag and drop on desktop and clicking and changing the date or production day number on any device. If you click on days in the toolbar, you now get an overview of your production days and teams. Another way of assigning dates to production days is to click renumber days in the edit menu in the toolbar. Check the checkbox and add the first date of your production. Click OK. Now all your production days got dates in order in one swoop. We have added functions to help you easily adjust your scheduling. If you need to insert a new production day between two existing ones and want the following days moved forward, click on Add New Production Day in the Edit menu in the toolbar. Select either Add and Insert a New Production Day and renumber all the following production days or Add and Insert a New Production Day and renumber all following days until there's a gap. The latter allows you to change just part of your schedule if you, for instance, have different production periods. The Modify will now recalculate and move all following production days. If you need to remove a production day, just click on the Edit Production Day menu and select the best choice for your production. Note that you delete all team activity belonging to that production day. 
Sometimes you need to swap two existing production days, shift a day to new date, or move a day to a new date and adjust all the following days. Just click on the production day edit menu and select what you want to do. Here we are swapping day 2 with day 1. Observe how the transport day of the purple team is moved from day 2 to day 1. You can also move and renumber days in another way. If, for instance, your entire planned production got held up and is moved forward, or that you have added a date to the first production day and want a simple way of adding dates to all the following production days. Click on the edit menu in the toolbar and select renumber days. In the pop-up, check the checkbox and enter the date you want the production to begin on. Please note that if you have production days out of order, say that production day 7 is before day 5, this will be adjusted into order as well. We also have a great tool if you made a mess. You might have made so many changes in your production schedule that everything is out of order and you might have gaps in your schedule. Relax and click on the edit menu and select renumber days. Just click OK and Dramatify renumbers your production days into a neat order. Should you now want to add production dates, you hit renumber days again and click the checkbox. And add the date of the first production date and click OK. And voila, everything is neatly in order again. Since Dramatify works on almost any device, your core admin team can take the scheduling with them in the pocket, to meetings, or why not display it on your gigantic wall-mounted TV screen in the office. Every time you don't print a schedule, saves resources and trees. That's all for now. Be sure to also watch our tutorial on call sheets since that is tightly tied to scheduling. Thank you for dramatifying your production.